Hi, I'm Sally from Sally's Baking Addiction, and today I'm showing you how to make my favorite red velvet cake recipe. Red velvet cake is so much more than vanilla cake tinted red. It's very buttery with prominent vanilla and cocoa flavors, a little tang from buttermilk, and has a unique velvety smooth texture. It tastes fantastic with cream cheese frosting. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process today. We're gonna begin with the dry ingredients. You can find the full recipe on my blog, sallysbakingaddiction.com. I have a few secrets that make this red velvet cake recipe the best. First, use cake flour. Cake flour promises the softest crumb. Second, whip your egg whites into fluffy peaks separately, then fold them into the batter. This promises a velvety texture. Third, use buttermilk for proper flavor. And finally, use a combination of butter and oil. Butter for flavor and oil for lots of moisture. Mix the dry ingredients and buttermilk into the batter in two to three additions. gel food coloring because the color is very concentrated so you don't need as much of it. For natural coloring you can use beet powder. If you don't want to use coloring at all you can leave it out. The cake will still have the same flavor and be a lovely shade of cocoa. Now let's fold the egg whites into the batter. You can bake the red velvet cake as a sheet cake or a two layer or three layer cake. No matter which size, they get 350 degrees Fahrenheit. After the cake layers have cooled, level them off so they're flat on top. For the cream cheese frosting, you'll need block cream cheese, unsalted butter, confectioner sugar, a splash of milk, vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. Let's decorate. If you want to pipe any decoration with this cream cheese frosting, chill it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes before piping so it holds the shape. 